We've seen lots of changes in the Minnesota Digital Library. We got together to learn more. We asked you for one-word descriptions of MDL. Empowering. Fascinating. Cool. Open. Diverse. Resources. MDL is a digital collection of the state's unique resources. Content is digitized for our participants from all over the state. MDL has been contributing to the Digital Public Library of America since its launch in April 2013. Dan Cohen, director of the DPLA, presented our event keynote. To hear his perspective on what's going on on a national level, to get some broader vision of how our state-based efforts would feed into that is really exciting. I think we're seeing some really exciting things going on and some um, maybe hints of the future and the way that people are really getting creative using the data and the content from DPLA to really dream up completely new apps. Have a look at some of the DPLA apps. I have to point out the historical cats app. I'm more of a dog person, but I still think this is pretty great. My favorite is the culture collage. Here's a part of the collage generated for me when I searched for the Minnesota State Fair. A great app from Minnesota is the Minneapolis Historical App. We have neighborhood groups that are uploading content about historical points in the neighborhood, and you can download it for free and then go on your own walking tour, self-led with all this content. Digital Humanities Research is integrating computer technologies with humanities to challenge existing theories, answer questions, and uncover new patterns in data. Now, we've digitized all these wonderful resources and collection materials, but what are we actually doing with them? And I think Digital Humanities goes a long way to answering that, that question. The Minnesota Historical Society has been working on innovative data visualization projects. One of these exciting projects is their Map Explorer. Map Explorer allows for the browsing and searching of historical images all from a map. I zoomed into the state fairgrounds and found these great old photos of the grandstand. Have a look at this project created from data in an 1849 Fort Snelling ledger book. Get a peek at Fort Life in 1849. See the goods for sale, the price of mittens, who bought them, and their role at the fort. Pretty cool. I'm here with Nancy Sims of the University of Minnesota Libraries. She's their copyright guru and also a Twitter superstar. My presentation is called Enabling Use. So what I'd really like people to take away from it is the importance of communicating clearly to our users what it is they can do with the materials that we put online. Nancy suggests that if possible, use Creative Commons licenses or label content with no known rights restrictions. So, what did we learn about? Spaceships, things like that, jetpacks. <laughs> it's fun to see folks gathering. Sounds really helpful. Thank you. Thank you.